Tail light removal, simple. No screwdriver. Screw there, screw there. That's this hole, and this hole. Turn the lights, pop them out, that's it. Tailgate removal. Pull this back, slide it up, pull it down. Same with this one. And then this piece right here, there's a little opening on the back. There's not an opening on the back of this one. So you pick it up at an angle, and you just slide it out. That's it. Gas door, you're going to reuse, unless you buy an aftermarket one, which I was thinking about, but I'm not going to do. So you got four torque bits. Those are going to be T30. That'll come into there you go, T30 Torx. And this is just like the clips on the grill and the fender fender wells, the wheel wells. Just pull it out. And then uh, take these out. Push it back. Oh, there you go. Pop that out. And then this, these two are just for the door. Which I'm going to reuse. Alright, that's it for the DS store. Okay, so the bedside removal. You're going to drill out the spot welds. Spot weld cutter. That one right there I haven't done yet. You can see all the other spots, that's what a spot weld looks like. This right here. And then you're going to use one of these bits. To like six bucks from... Harbor Freight. If you don't have a Harbor Freight, you can Home Depot or something like that. So, oh, one. so you just push it in. And see the bits that release. So, you get those all down the side right here. Right here, got one down there, maybe two down there. Yeah, there's two. And then you got some in here, which you need to take the bedside off to get, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. And then inside here, you gotta cut this, cause you can't really get to those spot welds. So you cut this out with a die grinder, or an angle grinder, Harbor Freight, 15, 20 bucks. And uh, I'll show you that one done doing it. So, see here, I chose to cut it. I used the angle grinder, the blade. Just cut that off. I cut the inner wheel well. And if you're going to try to resell yours, cut it as close as you can to here, to this piece. That way, the next person that buys it can cut theirs out here and then they can meet them in the middle and weld them back up and then uh, you gotta unbolt this one unbolt that one I left them until I had it completely cut through so it held it up for me and didn't follow me now everything should be loose I'm gonna pull it off but you're not gonna see that because I'm all by myself alright so it's off so I went back and I cut through the spot welds once I got this piece off, once I got the bedside off. Doesn't seem to be any up here. And then I got these ones. So I just took that whole piece off so it's not flapping there. Also, this piece that we cut on the other side, I got the spot welds from the inside. So I got the nice clean edge there now. And then uh, when you guys are, if you got the bed off and you're doing the bedsides, do not connect the front of the bedside until you got the bed back on the truck. I know that seems stupid because it's like, how are you going to get in there? You're just going to have to do it from the inside or do it from the inside of the bed or something. Come inside this way, do the wheel well and do it because you want to match it up with this line. So it's got to be like this. I'll show you that once I get to it. Okay, next step. So here's the finished project.
finished product. Got it all in. Still need to adjust the tail lights a little bit, but uh, it'll work for now. Let's see, put some soft tappers right there. The long edge. And then down here, I need to bring this out. There's a gap right there. But uh, I gotta take the bumper off to do that to get this to pull this piece out. I haven't done that yet. Uh, doing the tail light install, you just line it up. There's marks inside there, so you can uh, figure that out fairly easy. And then uh, in here, I haven't put the straps on yet. I will. I'll get to that. You have to do that. Otherwise, these things wobble in the wind. When I drive this, my wife gives me crap. Uh, don't know if you can see it down there. Right there. Right here. Single self topper. Surely add more than that, but that's all I've done right now. So, plast to dip the gas door. There's the finished product. Well, not really finished. I need to go back in there and adjust it. My Dremel screwed up, and I had to go get a cheap one. So, that's what's happened for now. And then there's that. See the screw sticking out right there. Now lines are pretty good, but uh, I need to do some adjustments. Um, this line right here, you see the bed side is up a little bit higher than this. The bed has solid mounts on it. The truck is a 2002, has rubber mounts on the cab, and uh, my brother has the same truck, but 2003. He replaced the cab mounts, and it raised his up that half an inch to line those back up. Right. There's that side over there. Soft tappers all the way through. So you put those in, and then uh, underneath that, you're gonna use uh, like liquid nails or silicone or something, and put a put a bond inside there. And uh, that's about it.